So x to the power of 16, uh, again, I can use the exponent rules. I've got x to the power of 16, but we're going to take this to the power of 1 half because it's the square root. So I've really got uh, x to the power of 16 times the 1 half. Oh, that's a 12. What the heck? That's better. 1 half. And 16 times 1 half is 8. Uh, well, that'd be 16 divided by 2, which would give you 8 there. So if we make this 16 green right here, we can skip that other stuff and make that uh, x to the power of 16. And then just divide whatever the index is for the root, like that. And 16 divided by 2 is the 8 there. So yeah, another way to look at this, and most people don't like this way, but it's it kind of goes back, uh, back to the basics, is this would end up being the square root of x times x times x times, we're going to get 16 of these x's. So x to the power of 16 is really this stuff right here, right? Now since the index is 2, it just doesn't show there. We can just find pairs of x's. And how many pairs would we have? Well, I get eight of those pairs, right? So I end up with x times x times uh, eight of these x's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, if I change this back into exponential form, I have a base of x and a power of eight. Uh, 